Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick video here to check out a ROM here on the Galaxy S6. So we have one Galaxy S6 here, 64GB uh, on stock uh, Samsung, uh, Samsung software. So that is uh, pretty sweet, 64GB as I said there. Uh, and then we do have a Galaxy S6 here which is running on a, a ROM here called X3 Stolite something. And it has less bloatware, less Samsung apps. It has five-way reboot. Uh, it has uh, it has removed high volume warnings. Uh, it has animation set on dot five, uh, so it's faster. Uh, color fade, memory leak, multi-window. You can remove uh, some interesting stuff that can be annoying in the stock version. So let's just start them up here side by side. See if there is any difference. Let's go. And of course, there are different versions of the Galaxy S6, you know, 64 gigabyte versus 32, but that's probably not going to make a big difference. But you can see here, it looks like this uh, ROM is slightly faster here on startup. As you can see here, when they are up and running. See, they both have like Android 5.0.2, but Samsung will release a 5.0.1 update here in the future. But um, you can see here some differences in the stock version. You do get a lot of Samsung apps, and that basically means that you have less uh, less storage for games. So you can see you have the S Voice, S Health, Galaxy apps, and all of that has been removed in uh, in this uh, Diodex uh, version, uh, this firmware. You can also see I'm pretty sure it is like already maybe rooted from the start maybe uh, s planner also has been removed uh, you can also see some other things that has been removed like if you hold in uh, tap the themes there's no themes here so they save some storage there also if you tap on wallpapers there isn't any of that as well uh, but of course you can uh, they have add-ons so you can add the Samsung apps you want and Samsung features you want but something I really really enjoy here is um, uh, the feature here if you tap on edit it looks like they've added more things here that you can tweak multi-window that you can remove which I'm pretty sure is this annoying thing in the stock version let's see here if we just um, fire up the phone app Yeah, we go in there up in the corner on the stock version. You have this weird thing. I find it very, very annoying because you can't, uh, you can't seem to disable it. Sometimes you accidentally hit that. You can see here it also do it. But if we go in here to edit a multi window, if you remove that now, oh, this is paradise. You can't get that thing to open up. I really, really find that to be amazing you know, more quick toggles there, it seems like. I don't have it here, it's very, very confusing. Uh, let's go in as well to settings. And uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, here you also have an interesting thing. Uh, call message block, uh, which seems to be an uh, add-on. Accessibility accounts. Yeah, call message block. So you have more blocking features, it looks. Uh, if you go down to about device, you can see here Android 5.0.2 on both, but here we do have X3 Stolite Diodex Mod Edition. Uh, let's also go into, um, let's also go into storage here, of course, as I said, 64 gigabytes, but when I don't have any games or anything installed, it's 23 gigabytes as well, but I think it's, one and a half more gigabytes than the normal. Uh, so they removed some interesting stuff. Uh, you can as well see that we, you do get some some interesting things. Uh, no, wait a sec. Hmm. I thought it was five way. I had that in the past. I got that five way uh, to be five different ways. I had to restart the device, but for some reason I couldn't see that right now. That's confusing. 
but uh, it is an interesting version. I really, really enjoy how animation speeds also are faster, you know, just uh, from the start. But most things should, of course, remain stock in many, many ways. I think uh, we can try out some other things. Let's just do a quick little Geekbench app uh, speed test here as well. Geekbench 3. I'm also pretty sure you have like call recording uh, you can get on this ROM. And uh, you as well have uh, the, uh, an option when the camera opens up that uh, it, uh, it you can like open it up when you have low battery pretty sure I saw that so that's an interesting thing and this should remain pretty um, pretty similar scores here as well as when you go up with volume uh, I'm pretty sure you don't get the clicks uh, on the uh, on the lighter version, lighter ROM here. I still have that uh, RAM problem, kind of when I have like three apps open up three games, it has to reload one game. Hopefully, something can fix that. Hmm. Fourteen seventy-two. Yeah, this time around we actually got more a little bit higher there on the stock. So yeah, just a quick little video checking that out. Hopefully you did enjoy and um, hopefully you will have an awesome day. And definitely let me know if you want to see anything else. So yeah, peace.